Welcome, this is Today in the News. Here are the highlights. Senate rejects Loretta Onoche's nomination as INEC National Commissioner. Police rescue one Bethel Baptist College student and two others. Tambua orders demolition of Raymond Village over insecurity. NDLEA arrests seven drug kingpins in raids across three states. The Senate has declined the nomination of Loretta Onoche as National Commissioner of the Independent National Electoral Commission. Her nomination was rejected following the recommendations of the Senate Committee on INEC in a report presented by the committee's chairman, Senator Kabiru Ibrahim. According to the report, approving a nomination goes against the country's federal character principles and as such should be denied. Also, the nomination of Sonny Mohammed Musa was stepped down until further legislative action is taken by the committee within two weeks. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party has described the Senate's rejection of President Buhari's nomination of his aide and APC chieftain Loretta Onoche as National Commission of INEC as the triumph of the Nigerian people over the bare-faced attempt by the Buhari-led APC administration to corrupt and hijack the commission ahead the 2023 elections. The Kaduna State Police Command has rescued three kidnapped victims, including one student of Bethel Baptist School. Disclosed in a statement signed by the State Police Public Relations Officer, Mohamed Dalinge, the rescue operation was achieved through the operatives of the command alongside Civilian Joint Task Force. He said this is part of the command's mission to rescue all kidnapped victims in the state. The three rescued persons were found roaming the bush around the forest of Sohun Gaya village of Chikun local government area. Meanwhile, the Sakoto State Governor Aminu Tamboa has ordered the demolition of the popular Raymond Village in Demboa area of the Dengen Shuni local government area. Raymond Village has gained notoriety for harboring criminal elements from drug peddlers, armed robbers to cultists, child traffickers, and a hub for child prostitution. Governor Tamboa visited the area in company of heads of security forces in the state following a raid by security operatives in a joint patrol he ordered after a state security council meeting where over 140 suspected criminals were arrested. Operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, have busted three major interstate drug cartels supplying illicit substances to some states in the north. Recovered skunk and cocaine weighing over 843 kilograms and arrested at least seven of the drug kingpins behind the syndicates in separate raids carried out in Kogi, Nasarawa and Benue states. The cartel led by one Augustine Emanuel, aged 45, opted to move its consignments through the waterways between Edo and Kogi states in a bid to evade the frequent route checks and efforts by officers of the Kogi state command of the agency.